Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. And as you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics. And today we are going to talk about the numbness and tingling sensations you have in your hands, in your feet, on your body, somewhere. So why do you get this tingling numbness? Why? What is the reason? What is the reason for these abnormal sensations? Right? That can occur actually anywhere in your body. You might often feel them on your fingers, on your hands, on your feet, in your arms, on your legs. Now, all these are basically abnormal sensations. So why are they there? What are the possible reasons? What can you do about it? What tests you should do? We are going to talk about all these things today. So if you have tingling numbness, this video is for you. So let's start. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So guys, numbness and tingling are basically abnormal sensations. And sensations are because of nerves. Nerves are coming from your brain and spinal cord, from the central nervous system, right? Central and peripheral nervous system, it's a nervous system, right? So all these nerves are basically carrying sensations. They're carrying signal transmissions from the body to the brain. Why would there be abnormal sensations? There are reasons for that. Why do you have these tingling numbness on your fingers, on your hands, in your arms, legs or anywhere in your body? There has to be, has to be a reason and there can be many reasons. For example, you might get tingling numbness by just sitting or standing in the same position for a long time. And yes, that happens. That happens because of nerve compression or blood vessel compression. If the blood supply to a certain part of your hand is compressed, then you get tingling numbness because nerve is also, sensation is also hampered there, right? This is the most common reason, one of the most common reasons. Then if you get an injury, if you get a neck injury, which may cause you to feel numbness anywhere along your arm or hand, right? This is basically happening because of the injury to the nerve, either injury or compression. Nerves are coming from in between the vertebral column and there is the vertebral column in your cervical spine. And they are basically coming from the, in, the spaces in between two vertebral spaces. So if there is a compression in the space, the nerve gets compressed. If there is something coming out of the space, the nerve gets compressed. So a lot of things can happen in the spinal cord right so if you have any injuries to the neck it can lead to nerve injury nerve compressions right and a lower back injury can also cause numbness or tingling but that happens lower down the body right it can happen in your legs so it if you're having numbness in your legs you might need to check your lower spine and if on the arms you might check your upper spine the right? cervical spine so that's two reasons then pressure on the nerves in the spine right because of a herniated disc we've seen this in detail in the neck pain video and whenever there is a abnormal pressure a lot of pressure cushion between the two vertebras the disc between the two vertebras can actually come out from one side and herniate out and that herniation can actually press the nerve and because of pressing on the nerve, you might have tingling numbness. Then there can be pressure on the peripheral nerve because of enlarged anything, right? If there is anything which is getting larger in size, like a tumor or even a blood vessel, right? It can press on the nerve. Sometimes even scar tissue because of injury, after injury or infection, right? Infection can actually damage the nerve and you can, you can have tingling numbness. So anything which damages the nerve, like even shingles or herpes zoster infections, right? They can have tingling numbness. Then anything which has a lack of blood supply to an area, right? Such as uh, hardening of arteries of, or even frostbite, 
when you get frostbite blood supply to the area gets hampered because the blood vessels get constricted too much constriction so or even if the blood vessels get inflamed or swollen there might be hampering of the blood supply because of the uh, compression so if there is lack of blood supply to an area you can have tingling numbness then abnormal levels of calcium potassium and sodium right either of them calcium potassium or sodium if they are very abnormal you can have tingling numbness because of them because these are the ions the uh, basic electrolytes which are needed to in, in your body for these every single work the all these signalings and other thing calcium is very important potassium sodium every bit all of these things are very important right then one of the very common things vitamin b12 deficiency if you have vitamin b12 deficiency many people 90% of people who have uh, vitamin b12 deficiency will develop tingling numbness right and even other some other vitamin deficiencies can lead to tingling numbness but b12 is very common then certain medicines can lead to tingling numbness uh, of course nerve damage due to uh, alcohol intake tobacco intake chemotherapy drugs or even lead poisoning can lead to tingling numbness same way uh, radiation therapy can injure the nerve uh, animal bites can injure the nerve uh, then insects tick mites or spider bites if they are causing a lot of swelling and in and compression on the nerve you might have tingling numbness right sometimes seafood toxins some kind of seafoods have toxins if you take those you might have a uh, nerve irritation so abnormal sensation then there are some congenital conditions also which can lead to numbness then obviously some medical conditions some diseases are also there which can lead to tingling numbness for example diabetes right in diabetes patients get diabetic neuropathy peripheral neuropathy and every patient every chronic diabetic patient will get this even if the diabetes is controlled right it can happen that people if you control diabetes it will happen later right that's very important to know then carpal tunnel syndrome compression of the nerve in the wrist migraines multiple sclerosis you can have seizure stroke transient ischemic attack when the blood supply is not then the brain even hypothyroid underactive thyroid can lead to tingling numbness right so all these are basic reason possible reasons for your numbness anywhere in the body so what can you do what should you do ideally you should go to a doctor and your doctor your healthcare provider should find and treat the cause of your numbness and tingling treating the condition can make the symptoms go away and stop you and stop your and stop them from getting worse for example if you have carpal tunnel syndrome if there is a compression or if you have low back pain or your or if you have low back pain your doctor may just suggest you some exercises and you can be fine right if carpal tunnel syndrome is more if there is a herniated disc you might get operated and you'll be fine right so there has to be a solution according to the reason if you have diabetes your doctor will discuss ways to control your blood sugar levels right low level of vitamins will be treated with vitamin supplements medicines that are causing numbness tingling will need to be switched or changed do not change them on your own that's not your job you don't know what will go wrong what will be the side effect so make the let the choice let the doctor do the choice let the doctor do the decision right because numbness also know that numbness can cause decrease in the feeling right so you may be more likely to accidentally injure a numb hand or limb or foot so you need to take care to protect the area which is numb from cuts bumps bruises burns or other injuries so make sure of that especially in diabetic patients where peripheral neuropathy happens their sensations of the foot 
just goes away so they don't even know when they are stepping on a you know pointed stone so repeated injuries can cause ulcers and these ulcers are difficult to treat they don't heal very fast right very slow hinge difficult to heal right so make sure if you have dumbness to observe the area and protect it from injuries apart from all these things if you have any of these signs you need to go to the emergency right away like if you have weakness or if you are unable to move or move the limb if you are unable to move the uh, hand or feet then you need to go to the doctor immediately or if tingling or numbness has occurred just after a head neck or back injury right in that case or if you cannot control the movement of your ha- hand or arm or you have lost the bladder control or bowel control right you are passing urine involuntarily then it's an emergency or if you are confused or you don't have a proper orientation or or even if you lose consciousness obviously that's an emergency you need to go directly and if you have or maybe you might have slurring of speech or changes in vision difficulty in walking or weakness so all these are signs when you should directly contact your doctor or go to the emergency where you need further evaluation right and also you can call your doctor if there is no obvious reason sometimes you sleep on a hand right Uh, or foot which is called as uh, falling asleep right so so if there is an obvious reason for tingling numbness you don't have to call him but if there is no obvious reason if you have pain in your neck if you have like urinating problem if you have a rash if you have a fever right if you have dizziness muscle spasm unusual symptoms don't hesitate to call your doctor right your doctor will do the all the necessary testings of your checking your nervous system your nerves ask you about your symptoms medical examination everything has to be done properly to find out what is wrong with you blood tests can be done right he can ask you about your uh, history past history thyroid diabetes and medicines and certain but blood tests will be done to confirm these things right uh, complete blood count electrolyte levels thyroid functions vitamin levels right heavy metal toxicity toxic screening then esr crp diabetes tests all these things even sometimes imaging has to be done like angiogram ct angiogram ct scan of the head or spine sometimes mri has to be done of the head or spine ultrasound can be done for the neck vessels to see if there is a you know blockage in the neck vessels going to the brain vascular ultrasound can be done for the limbs for the legs then sometimes x ray of the affected area is also indicated right so there are many tests sometimes lumbar puncture has to be done to take out some fluid from your spine you know to find out if there is any central nervous system disorders sometimes cold stimulation test may be uh, done to check for renown phenomena electromyopathy electro electromyography and nerve conduction studies are also sometimes a measure to study how your muscles respond to nerve stimulation so there are many tests which a neurologist can do to find out all these things the reasons for sensory loss for paresthesias for tingling numbness for loss of sensations so that's why you need to go to a doctor find out what is the reason behind your symptom and then and only then the problem can be solved so i hope this video has helped you out if it did then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and don't forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues I'm Dr. Paramjit those who don't know me I'm a consultant physician and cardiologist in Yashoda Super Speciality Hospital Nehrunagar Delhi NCR and this is my channel I'll see you tomorrow same time same place stay connected stay healthy